day two of this global crusade. Last night was wonderful. Am I right? How many of you were here last night? Was it wonderful? Of course it was. God moved mightily. And tonight, God will still move again, even more than yesterday in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now listen. We come to an important time now. We want to pray the whole church globally. We want to bring the affairs of the world before our God. Because in Psalm 93, take your Bible because we are going to pray scriptures tonight. Everybody, take your Bible. You have it on your phone. You have it, your printed Bible. Take your Bible. Psalm 93, verses 3 and 4. Read it with me. Verses 3 and 4. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The church is going to pray tonight against all the floods of evil. The negative agenda of Satan for this world. And it's going all over from nation to nation, from continent to continent. The floods of corruption. The floods of evil, the floods of sin, the floods of immorality in communities, in nations, in families, even in churches. And we're going to pray. Look at verse 4. Verse 4 says, The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters. Is our God mightier than the devil? Of course he is. Yea, mightier than the mighty waves of the sea. And so we're going to pray tonight, and we're going to say, Lord, all the floods of evil, corruption, moral corruption, in the education industry, in the entertainment industry, in the political system, all over the world, Lord, let all those floods be silent. Open your mouth. Now talk to God. Pray with passion. Pray with concern. Pray with all your heart and say, Lord, let your power subdue all the floods of evil, all the floods of darkness, all the floods of the devil, the demonic hordes of evil going all over the nations. Agenda for children, agenda for youths, agenda for women, agenda for men, agenda for the nations of the world. All darkness that is trying to overshadow the light. Let's pray that the Lord will rise up like a man of war and break their powers and subdue their powers. In Jesus' name we pray. You can do better than that. I said, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My brother still sitting down. This is concerning you. We have to pray. Get up. Let's pray together. Isaiah chapter 59. Isaiah chapter 59. Open your Bible there, verse 19. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. The Spirit of the Lord will lift up, shall lift up a standard against him. We're going to pray. Lord, Holy Spirit of God, raise up your standard of righteousness against unrighteousness in the world, of holiness against uh, corruption, the standard of truth against falsehood, the standard of godliness against wickedness, the standard of light against darkness, the standard of the true worship of God against the worship of idols in all the nations of the world. Pray that the Lord will come down and that the Spirit of God will raise up a standard against all of them. Let's pray with passion. Pray with purpose. Pray with faith. Pray as a team of believers believing in the Lord tonight. The Lord will answer. Heaven will answer. The devil will be subdued. His power will not stand. The agenda of the Almighty God will take over the agenda of the devil all over the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to pray. Look at in Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 and 10, the Lord Jesus admonished the church. He said, After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, 
which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. We want the kingdom of God to come all over the nations of the earth. In Africa, we declare, we proclaim the dominion of Jesus. In Asia, we proclaim the dominion of Jesus. In America, we proclaim the dominion of Jesus. North and South America, I mean, we proclaim the dominion of Jesus. In the Caribbeans, we proclaim the dominion of Jesus. In Europe, all over Europe and all over Oceania, we're going to pray, Lord, let your will be done on earth in our nations, in the globe, all over the world. Anywhere the sun shines, the kingdom of God should prevail. The knowledge of the Lord should cover the earth. The glory of the Lord will cover the earth. Are you praying, brother? Are you praying, sister? Jesus is Lord in all the nations of the world. Jesus is Lord. Sin will not be the Lord. Satan will not be the Lord. Evil will not be the, world, the Lord. In the politics, in the education, in the, in the entertainment, in whatever industries of the world, Jesus is Lord. Any agenda that is against the agenda of the Almighty God will bow in Jesus' name. They will not stand. They will not stand. They will not stand. The Lord will prevail. The name of the Lord is mightier than any name under the sun. Therefore, let the power of God prevail over every darkness. In Jesus' name we pray. That's not a global amen. Give me a global amen. Now, tonight. What did I say? I said tonight. Everybody say tonight. Tonight, the Lord is here. We're going to pray as the man of God will stand to declare the word of the Lord. In all the nations of the earth, where the word of the Lord will come out. We're going to pray. The Lord will give him a word for everybody in all the nations of the earth. What they need in Europe, they will hear the voice of the Lord tonight. What you need in Africa, they will hear the voice of the Lord tonight. What we need in Asia, all over the world, let the word of the Lord come with power, with anointing, with authority to break yokes, to set captives free all over the world. Open your mouth and pray with purpose, with faith, with interest, with desire, with faith in your heart. God will do it. Heaven will open tonight. The blessing of the Lord will flow tonight. The hand of the Lord will flow tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Now you are going to pray as we come to this point that the grace of the Lord will be abundant on this crusade field. Grace will flow to save, to heal, to deliver, to set captives free. The grace of the Lord will flow freely over all the earth, over all the world. Open your mouth and talk to God in prayer now. And say, Lord, let your grace flow into my life. Flow into the life of all participants. New, old, all of them, let the grace of God flow freely over every life, over every heart, over every person. No one will live here tonight without the touch of God upon their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Church, people of God, I said amen. Amen. Now we're going to pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. You are a wonderful God. And we have proclaimed the dominion of Jesus over the whole earth. So it is done. So it is established. The agenda of the devil is crushed. The Lord shall reign over all the nations of the globe. The glory of the Lord will fill the lives of all men as they hear and respond to the gospel. Your anointing will flow tonight in the name of Jesus to break yokes and set captives free. After this crusade, the world, our nations, our cities, our communities, our families, our churches will never be the same again. We know it is done. We believe it is done. And we give you all the glory for doing it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You are welcome again to this second day of this great global crusade in Jesus' name. I want to tell you that heaven is ready. And I'm sure you are ready. And tonight, I want to inform you that 
our Father and the Lord, the International Gospel Evangelist, Pastor Dr. Dr.